Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video, and today we're going to look at the char index function. Now, the char index function is a function that searches a piece of text, uh, a, a column, and it searches it for another piece of text, for a smaller piece of text or a single character, and it returns the first, the position of the first instance of that piece of text being found. So, as an example, I've got um, some SQL here on screen, and it's got a uh, a column called type. So maybe I want to search for the letter T in uh, this column. And the way we, we do this is we do char index brackets. Um, there's a number of um, parameters here, and the first parameter is what piece of text are you looking for? Um, so in this case, I want to look for the letter T, and it it doesn't matter whether it's uppercase or lowercase. Um, the next parameter is where I'm going to search. And in this case, I'm going to search in the FT type column. And then there's a third parameter, which is the starting position. So I can say, find this letter in this piece of text, but ignore the first nine characters. So you would say start at the 10th character. Um, and it would ignore the first nine characters. Anyway, I don't want to do that. By default, it will start from the beginning. So if I execute this, <clears throat> where it finds the letter T, it will return a value to say T is the fifth character, um, T is the third character, and you can see that they are correct in this case. If it doesn't find the letter T, it returns a zero. Um, so let us change it ever so slightly. Maybe we'll put the letter Z in and just run that. So now we've got none um, early on here, but we do have a Z here, and we do have a Z here, and those are the positions of that character. But we don't have to just do a single letter. We can do a word. So we'll say tree, and we'll run that. And there is a word tree in here that you can see. Um, so you can do, you know, uh, um, uh, any amount of characters here, but it will return the position of the very first, uh, of the starting position of that bit of text. So for tree, in this case, the T of tree is the 12th letter in this um, particular field, in this value. So it's it's the very beginning, which um, which is counted and returned. So we can use this information to do a few things we can we can kind of it, you know in this column now we can if we're reporting on this column we could say whether um the word tree is indeed present or not just by the fact that it's either a zero or it's greater than zero or we can split we can start messing about splitting our field our value based on um a particular bit of text so in this example, what I want to do, I've got this column here, which is a number and then a forward slash and a number. And I want to compare those with um, this value here. And I want to return any values where one or the other of these two numbers is greater than this value. Now, in order to do that, I need to break this up. And in order to do that, I need to get a value on the left hand side of the forward slash and a value on the right hand side of the forward slash um, in some cases if I go down here maybe to somewhere on here you'll see that there are sometimes um, more than one character before or after the slash so I need to kind of take that into account as well um, I've just seen a star there so I'm just going to add another um, condition just get rid of the star. Okay. So let us begin by finding the position of the forward slash. So in order to do that, I've got my char index. I replace the word tree with a forward slash, and I replace that column with with my new column that I'm looking at looking at, which is FT stats. And if I run that, I'll now get values and generally they are number two the second character is the forward slash but if we go down to line 900 and such um we do get some number threes here because um 
there are two characters. So the third character is a forward slash. So that's good. Now what I can say is I can say to get me the left hand portion, I can say get me using my left function. And I've done other videos on the left function and, and such um, that I'll include in the in the description of this one. I'll include links to, but using the left functions, this is going to get me the left portion of a, a piece of text. I wanted to get me the first character or the second character depending on the position of the forward slash so i'm going to say left and then i'm going to say um my column and then i'm going to just copy this function here which is going to return in most cases two and i'm going to take one away so the result of this is a number it's it's a position it's a it's a, a position of a, of a piece of text and it's numeric so i can treat it as a number and i can say the result of this char index um, function minus one and if i run that we we're getting zeros here but if i just we get one if i just go down to um sorry here you can see then this is 10 there's 11 12 13 15 16 the first portion correctly returned and i can do a similar thing and i can say okay right ft stats but now because i'm getting the right hand portion i need to do this ever so slightly differently so i'm not just going to take one off what i need to do is um the starting position here is three but the whole um, length of my field is four. So maybe what I can say is the length of my field minus the position of that character. So if we try that, the length of FT stats minus the result of that char index here. And now if I just go down to those examples on that line 900, Sorry, too far. You can now see that we're getting 10 and 9, 11, 11, 12 and 12. You can see that we're getting the correct results, the expected and hoped results. And now we can use that to say, okay, and, and we'll just say, um, I'll just copy the result of this. And what we're looking for is our left hand number to be greater than our summon value. So if I do that, greater than ft summon val, and if I run that, all the results now that are getting returned are those where the summon value is less than the first number in this stats column. So hopefully that made sense. Um, I mean, char index is a very useful function, um, and hopefully those examples that I've shown you have been helpful in some way. Thanks a lot for your time. Uh, any questions, please leave me feedback, and see you next time.